What's up, guys? Welcome to local band Smokeout. Smokeout. Any genre from, from anywhere in the entire world. I, I want to hear your music. We are, ladies and gentlemen, years down! Give me a hell yeah! Yeah, oh, there you go. Hell yeah, he's right there. Dylan, can you see us? Can you hear us? Yeah, what's up, man? Are you using your phone? Yes. If possible, if you flip it sideways, it'll full screen you instead of doing the vertical. It just looks better on my end for because we put all these on YouTube. Perfect. Nice. Uh, gentlemen, do me a favor, and before we actually like officially get started, please properly introduce yourself. Let me know whereabouts in the world you are right now. Plug and promote anything and everything. Okay, fuck yeah. Um, so my name's Griffin. Uh, I sing for years down. Uh, the other guys are guitarist Dylan. We're uh, uh, based out of Denver, Colorado. Go ahead. No. Yeah, I play guitar. I, well, I try to. Denver pop punk sometimes <laughs> what's up guys thanks for having us yeah it's my pleasure how did you guys meet and did you was it love at first sight was it like a audition jam session like who who found who first and, and said hey let's you, you're you're in uh Facebook dating <laughs> but wait you know that's how I met my girlfriend but we did meet on Facebook he he found me uh I made a post on some like pop punk Colorado group at one point and it was like months prior and he ended up like searching through that group and found me and just sent me a message and here we are a couple years later. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's awesome. So the band's been around for four or five years, give or take. Yeah, I think so. Like, tw like, like winter of 2019 is kind of around when it started. And then like the actual lineup got solidified like mid 2020 it was actually really funny um dylan and our other guitarist sterling joined up maybe like a month and a half two months before we were supposed to go on like a week and a half long tour in texas so, so they had to learn quick for just fucking jumping in yeah that's awesome hell yeah uh, I feel like like we we jammed can't shake this feeling earlier and we we've been jamming you guys for for like as some of the stuff in your catalog uh, the last couple of weeks to like prepare for this and I feel like to me you have a little bit of like a day to remember feel is that a safe to say like an influence for you guys I read the description and said taking back Sunday you know pop punk stuff blah 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 but on can't shake this feeling it has that like easy core nasty kind of like just tucked in it right there. Who, who are some of the bands that just influence you to not only pick up a guitar, Dylan, or pick up a microphone, Griff, but and just do what you do? Like, when you were younger, who who did you jam all the time on the regular basis that influenced you? Dude, honestly, my first album was Blink Self-Titled and um, what uh, American Idiot by Green Day. And I don't know, I just... After that, dude, it was game over. It was punk rock all the way. Um, I started out playing bass, but I like to tap dance and play with pedals too much. So I switched to guitar. Um, but yeah, dude, a day to remember, you're on the nose with that. Um, or you're strong. Like we, we love all those like late 2000s, 2010, like easy core. That was a good time. That was a good time for music. We're trying to bring it back. Griff, what would you say for uh, vocally? I would say, uh, I definitely, there were like three, I, I was around when like Fuse FM was just first taking off, which I know dates me like super hard, <laughs> but, uh, I saw like a uh, fallout boys dead on arrival music video. And then, um, the newfound glory, my friends over you. And I was like that, that's what I want that nothing else. So like ever since then, it was just like discovering like, you know, other pop punk, classics like good charlotte yellow card and shit like that um i'm hugely influenced also by a data member that was like more when i got into high school um four years strong also and then like of course currently you know like belmont is doing such fucking wild shit uh you got bands like wilmot action adventure like huge influences on me now like just really really any kind of like semi poppy semi heavy kind of uh, band I, I'm, I'm vibing on for sure cool 
what, what's up? What's your guys like? Let's say it's like five minutes to go on stage. All the tuning and stuff is ready to go. The sound guy's like, you got five minutes, blah, blah, blah. What, what's what's a pregame ritual before before going out and just crushing the crowd? Uh, for me, I pace in circles, um, <laughs> and it's not very healthy. Uh, <laughs> you just get psyched up. You get to psych yourself up real quick. Yeah, yeah, man. P- pacing. I do it on the phone, too. I don't know. It's self-soothing. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, we don't do any, like, uh, hands in, like, clear hearts. Wait, clear eyes, full hearts. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Friday Night Lights. I don't know, dude. We don't really have, we don't do anything, do we? We just kind of like all have our own random levels of anxiety and we just get on. And then it's fine. Once we get there, it's fine, dude. Fine. What about what about after the show? Like, let's say, let's say for some reason this particular gig was like, welcome to Rockville. And and six thousand people just saw just saw the set, and it's a little bit bigger than normal. We're celebrating, we're partying tonight. What is the what's the occasion? What are we eating? Munchy foods. Let's. They got they got catering service at Rockville. Anything you want. What what do you what do you order? Oh, tacos, hands down for me. Tacos. <laughs> yeah, always tacos. Cool. What the taco trucks, man? Those are always my favorite. Like hitting them up in different states. Cool. I love tacos too. But like, we also like don't like. I'm in recovery, so um, I don't I don't use or drink or anything like that. And that the band, I mean, we're pretty similar in that. So we we don't we don't go trash hotel rooms and shit. We're like old. It feels like we're old. We go to bed, man, and we we no worries and 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 ten hours and do it again. So so better that way. So sober living is is the lifestyle now for you, sir. Yeah, for me, man, I was a raging heroin addict and now uh, i'll have five years sober next month which i'm pretty stoked about and been working in treatment for a while too so like music has been my my way to get get here you know good for you man i'm glad that you were able to overcome Thanks. that and and provide us awesome music because of it so that that's awesome hell yeah did you did you boys bring some hot sauce though Everyone's always like, I don't understand why BG wants me to bring hot sauce, but here we are. A little Tabasco, nothing fancy. I'll take it. Look at that, dude. Okay. Habanero. Habanero. And what are you going to do to us, man? So, the, Okay, so this is how the trivia works. You guys get to pick <laughs> excuse me, the trivia topic. I need to know if there's a movie or TV show that you've seen so many times, if you could agree on one or the other, a movie or a TV show. I'm gonna look up trivia on what you decide. Find some trivia. Ask you two questions about it. Whether you get the question right or wrong, I'm going to do hot sauce. If I stump you though, I ask that you kindly take a little swig with me. If not, kudos to you because I was not able to stump you. It's um, not the eyes. It's the mouth. No, I'm not in the there. eyes. No, dude. All right. Hey, it's a valid question. I don't know, Griff. What do we watch, man? I watch a ton of like Bob's Burgers, Family Guy, The Office. Um, I feel like I could comfortably answer some trivia about those. I don't know about Dylan though. Blueberry hey. Hellfire is what I'm gonna go with today. Blueberry Hellfire. That's tight. Strawberry, man. You got some strawberry? Clear. This isn't gonna be punishment at all. I love hot shit. Okay, cool. Um, uh, you said Family know, Guy, I'm, Bob's Burgers, anything like that kind of style you're pretty good at, Griff? Yeah, like adult animation sort of shit. Um, I, we could do The Office. Sterling was here, it would be The Office for sure. The Office? Sterling, okay. Like, I, die hard office. I'll channel Sterling, bro. Okay. Yeah. We'll do, work. we'll do some office trivia. Give me a second to look it up. But uh, Griffin, this is a particular question for you. What What is the hardest song vocally and do you do any unusual vocal warm-up techniques, or what are your vocal warm-up techniques? Um, so I have like a pretty consistent like warm-up routine, uh, a few different exercises, nothing like super fancy. Some stuff that I've just sort of picked up along the way. And then I had a I had a vocal coach for about a year. Uh, I after our first tour, I like totally wrecked my voice and blew it out so i went to go see somebody just to kind of like you know learn how to better do what it is i want to do on stage so i have a like i said a fairly in-depth little routine that i like to fuck with to get started and then 
I've got like all different kinds of like teas and tinctures and all these different <laughs> like lozenges and shit to, uh, you know, help me get prepared. And then once I'm on stage, like, you know, I usually just work my way through it with just the throat coat tea, you know, what do you gotta, do? Gotta what do you do? Po- do you do anything post post set to like cool it down? Let's say there's like three gigs in, an, in a row, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. What do you do to like be ready for the next one? Uh, just a fuck ton of tea, honestly, like more, more slippery elm throat coat tea than I think anyone should ever ingest <laughs> and a lot of water. Uh, cool. the, the boys always get real frustrated because if we have a long drive the next day, it's like bathroom breaks every like hour or so. Cause I'm just like, guys, I'm just I'm chocked. They're full like, damn it. it again. Just, just go into, just yeah, go into jug or something. Much. <laughs> just like just pull off on the side of the road like let me i'll just hit the side on the underpass no big deal <laughs> all right well let's see if we can stump you on some uh some office trivia which you selected you guys selected there's two questions but we'll do one at a time and then i'll ask a question while i'll look up another one in the office what is the name of the television show that michael made an appearance on as a child oh oh my goodness this, this happens during the episode called Take Your Daughter to Work Day. Oh. He shows the entire office the appearance of his thing when he was a kid. But what was the show? I remember the episode. Um, I, re- I feel like I remember the, the, the mascot was like a cat, but I cannot remember the name of the show. So we, we call it a stump. All right, we're all stumped out enough. strong. All right, cheers, boys. Let's go. Cheers. Ah. Woo! Yeah. Do you guys? Mine was like really chunky and hot. Do you yeah, guys have any phobias? Chunky, dude. Those blueberries, I bet. Not ideal, but. Do you guys have any like phobias? Things that freaks you out? Uh, I'm afraid of heights. Me too. Kind of. Uh, like late, I like I like roller coasters. Late stage and capitalism. And, uh, <laughs> or I maybe don't know, I real. don't like odd numbers on the clock. That 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 bothers me too. Odd numbers. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. So it's like it's in like seven, or just like oddly spaced numbers. Or this is a new one. I haven't I haven't learned this yet. Couldn't tell you, man. Couldn't tell you. <laughs> It's just, it just bothers them. This just bothers them. Uh, what? This is a serious question. <clears throat> what do you guys have uh, planned the rest of 2024 that we're allowed to know about? I know a lot of times it's all under wraps until a certain date, and then you drop little tidbits and you know whatnot. But what are you guys allowed to tell us that we can look forward to the rest of 2024? Our new album. Let's go. We'll have, we'll have that done. Uh, do we announce the name? Do we say that, or do we just? Yeah, fuck it. We'll sing. announce. We'll announce the EP title right fucking here. Let's do it. Right, fuck yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we have breaking news. Breaking news. I think is pretty apt. What is it called? Yeah, so it's going to be called condolences. And um, oh, condolences. Who who uh, who came up with the title? Who was the producer that you guys worked with? Also. So Dylan came up with the title and uh, a lot of the production we do either with Dylan or with uh, this guy named Rob uh, Cornell that we work with a lot. And then, of course, we send it off to get mixed and mastered by another Dylan by the name of Dylan Garforth. He's the one who's been doing pretty much pretty much all of the mixing and mastering for us since we dropped Stay, I want to say like almost a year ago he's fantastic absolutely killer work hell yeah awesome i'm not familiar with with the, his name but the music sounds great so just keep going to him dude <laughs> keep working oh, yeah, with you him. for sure you will be soon he's he's fucking amazing he really he's doing incredible things hell yeah well let's uh let's dump you one more time on some office trivia in the office now everyone that requests the office trivia it's a common thing around here we've done close words to 800 interviews who actually started the fire 
Who actually right. started the fire? Dylan, what you what do you think? What do you say? My God, dude. Uh, it wasn't Dwight, right? They wanted us to think it was. Um, okay, so I'll tell you what. But, Griff is correct, but what, Dylan, how did the fire actually start? What did Ryan do for a bonus point? What did Ryan do? It was something with the microwave, right? No, but I, you don't have to do no. the hot sauce. What, how did he start it? It was, a, it was like a personal pizza or some shit in the toaster oven, right? He put a pita in the toaster oven. Pita. It was a pita, yes, yes. Well done. Yeah, it was a hell pizza. Yeah. We'll take some it. appliance, dude. Some appliance. <laughs> it's always Ryan. Uh, do you guys have a uh, a band that, like, let's say I don't know if Condolences is gonna have any features, but let's say there was a budget to have a feature. It can be a vocalist. Maybe maybe Dylan wants a guitar solo from another artist. Who would you? Let's say the budget doesn't matter. Who would you want to feature on Condolences? It's funny that you ask us that question because like an hour ago i just uh was talking to driveways and i was like hey that was awesome playing that show with you and then i asked if they would have any interest but uh outside of that no taz from no Bill budget would be fucking sick yeah taz we love taz we love taz but how about like a day to remember dude oh jeremy let's, mckinnon let's go all yeah. out Hell yeah. Or fucking Dan O'Connor from uh, Four Years Strong. or uh, what about Ryan? Maybe Ryan I see, I Ryan from Yellow Card, I feel shit. like, would fit in on some of, some of the non-as-heavy stuff that you guys have. Or fucking uh, a Jordan from Newfound Glory would be just, like, that'd, that'd be, be a killer. dream. Honestly. That would be killer. Yeah, it would be fucking wild. Hell yeah, Soupy. very cool. I would pick Soupy. Is, no uh, years. That's, <laughs> that's it. Is there anything that I have not asked yet that you guys want to discuss or let us know about before we let you guys go? Um, we just dropped a brand new single this week. Uh, it was like Wednesday. If uh, anyone's been vibing to what you've been playing at all, like definitely go check it out. And then uh, just kind of stay tuned for the rest of the summer because I think the plan is to be dropping hopefully like one track a month. Is there a release date for Condolences? Or like a tentative, like, you know, fall, winter. Like, what are you guys thinking? I would say like late fall, early winter feels like probably winter when we're going to get it like totally, uh, totally completed and ready to be sent out. But like I said, we're expecting to drop like at least one single or a cover or something for like the next few months. So, you know, keep an eye out. We've got some, we've got some real weird covers coming down the way. Weird, oh, yeah, like, dude. like stuff that has never been pop punked before but here we are i'm fairly certain it hasn't okay um i i agree cool yeah i'm excited it, can can we can we get you in california at some point yeah we'll go back there dude we'll go back and also yeah. i was gonna say we like to time our album releases with when our seasonal affective disorder hits and we get really depressed so whenever that is, it's probably when it'll come out. I, I, I just didn't—I didn't know your band the last time you came to California. So that's why I'm saying, like, come back now. Now we can bring bring some people <laughs> and you know come too, come buy some merch and support too. and all that stuff. But uh, hell yeah! Well, gentlemen, uh, I'm excited about condolences. I hope I hope it's a smooth release for you guys and and safe travels on the road when you do it. Uh, Griffin, Dylan, I thank you guys for taking some time out of your day to do this. If it's okay with you, can I edit this and throw this on YouTube uh, tomorrow morning? Hell yeah, please do. Tag us, and we'll fucking we'll repost the shit out of it. I yeah, should I should have so it cool. done later tonight, so I'll, I'll IG it to you, so you you can tell everybody before it, it drops tomorrow morning. If if you know if fans were to miss this or whatever, then they can go back and watch it anytime. And uh, but yeah, you guys are awesome, man. Thanks for being good sports with the hot sauce. I was glad I was able to stump you one out of two times. I'll take it. But boys, this is fun, man. I appreciate you guys. Thank you, brother. Thank you so right, much. Thanks for so much us, for having us, dude. It was my pleasure. Really keep cool. keep making badass see. music. And uh, again, please stay safe when you do guys do hit the road. Thanks, man. We'll see you soon. Cool. Yeah, awesome. See you soon. Griffin and Dylan, a beer's down! Give me a hell yeah! Cheers, boys!
It's a cool dude. We got a little a little breaking a little breaking news on that one too. We got the the album title Condolences coming uh, in fall, which is cool. Uh, right here on the screen, I have their Spotify page. If you guys want to hit the follow button and support them, like I have, I'll tell you what. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. It really would. Please support them. And uh, yeah, we look forward to some crazy, weird covers of which have never been pop punked before. <laughs> I'm excited. I don't know what that means, but if Narak can do Dolly Parton, then anything is possible. <laughs> 